Hello, welcome to episode, I don't even know, of my weekly and my Nuzlocke. I say that because this is either going to be episode 33 or 34, depending how I edited the last video. Because as I said at the end of the last, the last video, the uh, two subsequent episodes, or the one episode, was of course an hour and four, or hour and five minutes. And I'm not sure if I broke it up yet, because I'm recording this right afterwards. I don't know if I broke it up in the half an hour section, or if I just made one long video. So, welcome to episode 30 something or other. Today we are going to be taking on the uh, champion, bad guy, spoiler alert, oh sorry did I said that too late, and we are going to be bringing our team of, sadly Sa uh, Sandy did faint last turn, so I, longest member of our team and uh, got fainted, very regrettable that, but we will be bringing our team of Dome, our Kabutops, our charcoal, or uh, yeah, our charcoal holding rainbow, and Dizzy. Our uh, polyrath our neighbors ho oh, oh. As you can see right there, very pretty bird. Here we go. Okay, so bad guy leads out with his Kecleon. Very high level Kecleon, and I'm not I'm not at all the level I was expecting to be at. I believe I resist that ultimately. Yeah. So that's gonna be a four hit KO right there. My defense drops, not really liking that, but you have some defense to spare. This should do it. Unless he does that, which I really should have thought of. Anyway, schoolgirl, bad guy. <laughs> uh. We will be switching out here. Going into Dizzy for the uh, submission. He withdraws as well, goes into his fortress. Not really a fan of that. No, sir, Bob, I am not. And his uh, levels are higher than I was expecting. I was expecting his levels to be actually around the uh, 61, not 63, so. Yeah. That, uh, that happened. Okay, luckily he does have spikes first turn. That's ultimately good for us. We connect, Mr. Take him out four times. I don't believe it's sturdy. I don't, it hasn't been sturdy throughout the entire game. Why would it start now? Okay, so there's his ace taken out. Kick me on again. Might as well keep a good thing going and uh, go after it. Because I don't want to take any spikes damage as well, so I mean, why not? Ancient power is the thing though, that's pretty much why not. But so long as it doesn't up its speed, I should be alright and keep pounding it like that. It's not a flying type poke. And it does get substitute, uh, substitute up. Substitute up. That should break the sub. It does. He's a flying type, so it's not stab. Still does more than I would have liked. Much, much more than I would have liked. But I should still take him out this turn, so that's okay. Next is his... Pidgeot? Pidgeot? I don't have anything to really counter it, though. I will have it be uh, going with my max potion, I believe is what we're down to now. Just the word max potion feels a bit weird coming off my lips. We're gonna go fire blast, hoping for the burn. He is faster than us, so burn would be nice. 
Not that it burns you off speed, but I do want to uh, not have him hitting so hard. And we do get the burn, luckily. I do not know if flying is physical or spe uh, special. I'd like to think it's physical, though. And from here, we can just go ahead and stall it with the burn. We burn stall it by going with another uh, max potion. Which we we'll probably would have done anyway, but... Still. I'm gonna say it was pro it's probably a uh, physical type move for that type of damage. We're gonna go ahead and hit a cover because it's it's free pretty much. He's gonna full restore. That's fine. I full restore. He full restores. We're full restoring a bunch of here. I don't actually full restore, of course, but I do full restore my HP. And now we're going to go for a fly, because why the crap not? He misses one attack, he also gets the... Oh, he doesn't have burn anymore, I completely forgot. I don't know why, it just it went... Oh, it just... Yeah, it didn't, it didn't occur to me. Hopefully it's uh, physical defense isn't nearly as good as the special was. The special wasn't even that great, so I don't know what I'm talking about. But essentially, ho is the only thing here that can uh, take Pidgey out. I mean, it is possible that Dome can do it, but Dome is kind of under level for this. And I'm not bringing Empire out, that's all the th only thing this thing uses is Wing Attack. Muck. No sidekick moves. We do have a ground attacker. This is, uh, is going to be a tough call. I'm going to have to... Uh... <sighs> this is going to take me two, two turns, because I want to uh, want to heal up ho -Oh, go into Dome. But it all depends on what happens in this first turn, I suppose, really. That's really what it is. Gengar. I have ground moves, but he has levitate. The fastest thing here is probably actually going to be Rainbow. He is probably the one that hits the hardest. I have.
have okay special defense, I'll take it. What the crap? I thought Struggle didn't uh, didn't care about type. Oh, it doesn't. That's not doing it though. That's not that's not enough. That was a crit. Shadow Ball. I ask you. Hope to live this one. Okay, I do alright. Hypnosis come through. Thank you very much. I have to wonder if he hasn't used up all of his uh, heals yet. I'll explore the stores. I hope so for that type of damage. I don't want to be greedy, I'm going for another full store. And he does wake up this turn. Good thing I went for that full story, dare say. I knew it's very least to crit for us to have a good uh, good chance here. And for him not to have any full stories. Okay, thank you very much, Ariolis. Give me some payback right there. Umbreon. We can do this, okay. It's gonna be tough, but we can get it. Level 61 Umbreon. Umbreon is very... What does that mean? Yeah, I can't escape. Okay. Umbreon is very bulky, but we'll be okay, I think. Because we have some good power to find us, even for six levels under. Okay, that's a three-hit KO right there. Hope the moveset's not all that offensive. Uh, okay, well, here we go again. And as I can't escape, I can't, uh, I can't counter the Screech, so we're just going to have to take him out before he gets us. We should be okay though. So we've seen three of his moves. Are you kidding right now? I, I wouldn't really be all that upset over this. I think it would be kind of funny. But I only have like four minutes that uh, I have to do something. I need a crit off this next one. I, I just I can't have it any other way. I need a crit. Maybe he doesn't trigger this time. Of course he triggers it this time. And I'm out of recoveries. Okay, I think I, I think I actually just kind of screwed that up. I think that's all on me that we haven't. And then he goes fury attack, or faint attack. I mean. I was an idiot. Okay, we might get this, okay? We may get this. So long as he stays asleep. We're going to lose Dizzy, though. Okay. Dizzy survives, survives. Oh, thank you, my beautiful, beautiful fighting Dizzy thing. And that'll be that. That, uh, that, that fight was not nice. It just wasn't. Oh, good grief. Well, we did it. 
We did it. Okay, I'll be up in just a few minutes. I, I just was at the end of the recording, so. Okay. okay. Bye. And, okay then. We got something. We did with our Elite Four. With our Elite Four, we beat the Elite Four. See what I can remember about all this. I loved catching him in the backyard. That was fantastic to find from Old Chase. I didn't even want to make him. I wanted Sharpedo, but I'm happy we got Dizzy. And our oldest member, who we got from the Sand Shoe, Sandy, who sadly fainted in this uh, run through. And of course, our beautiful self, TCR. Some of that has to do with speed up, and some of it has to do with me not completely recording, or, or not always be playing, being playing while I was recording, so I can't even speak. I will probably be working on death montage, but after this, so the credits are about to roll. But I am, so I'll do a death montage more than likely. But what I'm thinking I'm more, uh, more going to do is I will be doing another two episodes, one or two episodes where we go and find the uh, other the other legendaries and play play against them. And with that being said, I would like to thank you all so very much for seeing for staying around and watching my Nuzlocke. We had some ups, we had some downs from from that <coughs> We had some ups, downs, we I mean it, it was it was a tough Nuzlocke and it seems that we were hated for the first little bit of it. The the spirits frowned upon us. But I do appreciate it, again, so very much, and please do remember to subscribe if you haven't already, and if you enjoyed the Nuzlocke, comment if there's anything you'd like to say, especially about that last battle, which was absolute crap, to be completely honest. And, of course, share the video if you think it's worth sharing, and I will leave you guys to watch this, uh, watch the credits, and I will see you all next Nuzlocke. I hope you all enjoyed, and thank you again.